It's time to... Yeah! You want to go back that level? No, it's fine. <laughs> Welcome back to Mario Sunshine. Uh, Dave's gonna. Um, I don't know what to do. I don't really know either. I'm thinking that. Uh, let's see now. You go to Totals? Well, there's always Serena Beach. You haven't completed that one at all. There's one at Rico Harbor, which is really hard. It was a Yoshi one. And there's Serena Beach and Piano Village. And then also all the bonus shines after that. Let's see, where's Serena Beach? Was it not right here? Is that it? I think so, yeah. I think that's how you get to Sunny Beach. Oh no! Yeah. You can just go to the front of the plaza and get the rocket. You can just do, do a flip up on top of there. Do a flip jump. 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 Use a barrel. There you go. Use a barrel. There you go. Use a barrel. <laughs> Hotel Lobby Secret, huh? Stop being racist. It's like the one hotel on the island. Are, we, are they still angry? What are they, what are they angry about still? Go no, back. I don't give a shit. Well, no, go over and see. It's Mario. 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 Hi, listen, I have a feeling you can help me out again. There's all the hotels. It's full of ghosts. See, that's my brother's job. He gets rid of the ghosts, and I get rid of um, everything else. Why are those ghosts... ghosts... Oh, hello. I'm Mario, and I believe in the That's one way to get to the second floor. What's with these boos? Are they all just really hungry? See, they're all like, eh, eh, it tastes good. Probably stomp them. You can stomp boos in Mario. Oh, fi the fire door's closed. Just to lock everyone up there as they die. Hey, what in the fight, man? What they... Oh, I have to, oh! I have to go up both levels, man. Look at this shit. What's wrong? No, look at this. They just get some platforms out of them. That's fine. Jump into it, it's like a portal. Oh, in you go. No! <laughs> Look what we're doing. Ah, today. We have one life to live. We'll do it. Oh, oh, oh my god, man. Are you, are you absolute moths? There you go, you got him, more or less. <gasps> Why did I do that? <laughs> what? You're so stupid. I, I honestly You're like monumental failure. Yes, at life. Thank you. You should just give up on ever finding a mate because they will see these videos and be ha ha ha. This man is obviously a beta male. I'm not gonna date him. You know what, man? Yes. Most women probably be like, oh, okay. No, no big, no big deal. No. They will view your failure as a product of your. Insufficient genetics. Really? And they'll say, this man cannot provide for the children that I will have with somebody else. <laughs> if they're that much of a piece of shit, then I'm Wait, glad can, I'm not can, like can I break this one? Yeah, I think so. Spoosh. Did you just bite your pants? Oh, hello. I just gotta bounce off and die. Yes, you do. Easy. Okay. Now what? Well, that's pretty easy, too. It's not bad. Done. This now keep good. in mind that this, these guys, yeah, these guys will fuck off. These will... Because they're sandbox. Yeah. <gasps> Dab! I'm fine. Dab! Oh. Oh, Dab! <laughs> no! <laughs> no! <laughs> there you go. 
I do recall, I read this article, a, a woman gave, like she, she, don't, she always did, didn't reveal her, her real name, but she gave like a very honest like account. She's like, yeah, um, my husband is he's a really good provider, he's really stable, he's really loving, he's, he's great to raise children, but his genes aren't that good because he's kind of like overweight and he's kind of like, like, he lost his hair early and he's just, he's, he's kind of like, he, he is a beta male. So I had sex with like three alpha male type studly guys at the gym that I go to. So I, and I had children with all three of them and I tricked my husband into into having into raising those kids. And she's like completely not apologetic about it. She's like, yeah, I mean, this is just normal. This is how it is, you know? Like, he kill her? He, he never knew. Uh, it's like, <laughs> you could probably tell if a kid has your genetic code. You can, they will have, you they have defining characteristics. Well, keep in mind, like, yeah, like, like you look like your dad, it just looks like your mom. You um, look like you look like your dad. I look like my no, I don't. I look like my, like my uncle, my uncle on my mom's side. Um, but here's the thing, you, my sister. You look pretty Italian, dude. I do, but I don't look like my dad. You look, look like my dad look, at all. You, but you look Italian. I, I look like you look. I look like enough. uncles on both of my sides, but not like my dad's. Maybe maybe my mom fucked one of my uncles. Who knows? But no, you. But here's you the have, thing. You have my some sister like your dad. doesn't look like anybody in, in my family. Your sister looks kind of like you. You look. You and your sister have some divine. Yeah, characters. but like she doesn't look like, like, like she looks like, like uh, uh, like a second cousin kind of. But like on my mom's side, but on my dad's side, no. She doesn't look like anybody on my dad's side. Meanwhile, like one of my cousins and one of my aunts, who isn't like that that cousin's mother, they look very alike. So like there there is some, some credence to the whole. Um, the whole like, oh, you must look like somebody. There's also not like it's, it's very possible to like not look like anybody in your family but still have their genes, you know? Like, like, like that's not a completely telltale sign. But anyway, this woman was like completely non-apologetic. She's like, yeah, this is just how uh, how humans are meant to operate. Like women are supposed to find, you know, good partners to have sex with, and then they're supposed to find. That's a, that's a blue coin, dude. Oh, yeah. Blue coin there. Sure, sure, sure. Women are supposed to find good partners. Oh! <laughs> wow. Hello, Dick. Hello, Dick. <laughs> oh. Yeah, she basically said women are, are supposed to find good partners to have sex with and then good partners to raise their children. And I mean, I guess that makes sense on an evolutionary perspective. Oh. <laughs> on an evolutionary advantage perspective, that does make sense. Um, but it's still a dick move, you know? Oh, okay! <laughs> I just dropped through. I win. <laughs> I mean, like, I never intend on having children, and as soon as I can get a vasectomy, I'm having one. But, like, if I ever got into a situation where a woman's like, yeah, that, this kid is yours, even if I trust them, even if we're in a relationship or whatever, I'd be like, you know, I really love you, but I like a paternity test. It's, it's trust but verify, you know? Okay. And, oh, and there was another, there was a woman, I think it was back in 2005 at this point, she said that the paternity test was an anti-feminist application of science. Ha! Because for the longest time, one of the only sources of power women had over men were to be able to trick a man into, into raising a kid that wasn't his. So, so like, like the, the merry-go-round game of who's a father is now kind of taken out of women's hands because of the paternity test. And she's like, this can't be. This, this is a tool women have in order to ensure the best possible future for their children. You know, men cannot take this away from us. And I'm like, <gasps> Oh! Oh, you fucking bitch! <laughs> That's you, Dave. You're the bitch. <laughs> you, are, you are the bitch that one Def, day will be Def, raising Def. kids that aren't yours. I'm pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like, like imagine, the, imagine the conceit. Like, can't, can't really, I'm sure you, like, you know which article I'm talking about, because you, you don't even fucking showed it to me. Um, put up, like, a link or something. Or, like, choice quotes or whatever. The only link I'll ever despise. <laughs> Like, like, imagine the conceit you have to have where you say it is completely fine to deceive a man into raising some kids that aren't his because it's better for the kids. You know, like, okay, the man is inconvenienced because, you know, it's uh, they're not his kids, he thinks they are, but, like, who, what, he, what he doesn't know won't hurt him and the kids have a better life. Like, what's the alternative? Oh, the alternative is that the kids have no father and the man gets to go free. Oh, wow, because that's worked so well. I mean, I've seen the results of that bullshit. And let me tell you, it's not good. Well, here's the thing. Um, it is, 
Do you De think? Def, stop, 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 stop. Just, just go. Do you think? Stopping a bitch. Do you think it's better for society that men raise kids that actually aren't theirs, or that the men? I think or, no. Or, I think or, or, or I, that men get their reprieve and then the kids are, are are fucked because they have to go into like a troubled system. Like, what's better? Oh god. Oh, it's one of those ones. Dude, just go down and hold your shield button. Really? Yeah, you'll just bounce around until you get to the bottom. Oh. <laughs> Bing bang, mama. <laughs>